Hi everybody, this is John DiBiase for You Don't Know Jersey. With the NFL's 2012-2013 preview show, the Giants are coming off a Super Bowl championship. Tom Coughlin did his magic again, beating the New England Patriots and Tom Brady. Let's look at the season in general. The Giants in their history have never done well coming off a Super Bowl championship. But I will say this, based on their offseason acquisitions, their draft picks, and their overall general way the team is playing, and their schedule, which is pretty brutal, I will say this, the Giants are looking at possibly 10 to 11 wins easily. Coughlin will find a way to get Eli Manning and the Giants to play and come together. As far as the other local team in action, the New York Jets, well, what could I say? As in this reporter's opinion, who is a Jet fan, will tell you, the Tim Tebow phenomenon, circus act, sideshow, freak show, whatever you want to call it, is in town in an off-season trade from the Denver Broncos. Most people feel this is a, a, a move to push Mark Sanchez into taking that next level, so to speak, like Eli Manning has in his fourth year of professional football. In this reporter's opinion, I personally think that they're setting the kid up to fail. Mark Sanchez is not getting the help that I see. I don't like any of the off-season moves. I see New England always getting stronger and stronger and the Jets stuck in neutral. Now, I know you can't judge everything on preseason and exhibition. I'm not trying to tell you people to judge it on that. But judging from what I've seen in the preseason and kicking Brian Schottenheimer, their old offensive coordinator, out and bringing the ex-Miami Dolphin coach Tony Sperano in to run the offense, I got a news flash for you Jet fans out there, and it ain't pretty. Not that I like saying this. I don't see the Jets, based on their schedule, doing too much. I see five to six wins at best, and that's being kind. Will this be the end of Rex Ryan era and Mr. Mike Tannenbaum as general manager? In this reporter's mind, I think it could be. You can only get so much rope, especially for a team that's been to the championship game two straight years in his first season of his regime. Now, the scary thing is he claims that this is his best team since he got here, which is scary. Like I said, you Jet fans know, the first two years he went to back-to-back -back championship games. That's a pretty bold statement for a guy that's supposedly going to be Mr. Hush Hush and, you know, do away with the bravado, do away with the Super Bowl predictions. But like I say to you, Jeff fans, keep your fingers crossed. I got a funny feeling it's going to be a long and painful year. As the local teams open up the NFL season this week, Due to the, as you fans know, due to the Democratic Presidential Convention, which has taken place on Thursday this year, the NFL was forced to move up its, its kickoff by one day. The local team is the Giants playing their division-hated rival, Tony Romo, yes, and Jerry Jones, and the Dallas Cowboys at MetLife Stadium. Kickoff is for 8.30 p.m. tomorrow night on NBC. As for the Jets, they'll be playing on Sunday at 1 o'clock Eastern on CBS at MetLife Stadium, hosting the Buffalo Bills. Okay, the fearless forecasters' predictions as far as the local teams this weekend. As far as the Giants tomorrow night versus their hated Dallas Cowboy Cowboys, I see the Giants in a squeaker, 31-24. Tony Romo, yes, once again, coughs it up late to give the Giants the secure victory. As far as the Jets go on Sunday, well, <laughs> judging by preseason, the way their offense has been, I see the Jets in neutral, unfortunately. I see the Jets in a struggle, losing, unfortunately, 
17 to 10. This is John DiBiase for You Don't Know Jersey, signing off.